Dear Kindergartners, This is my last letter to you about seasons and weather. Today we will learn how to know what kind of weather is on the way. Have you ever watched the weather report on the news? Sometimes people blame the reporter for bad weather, especially when their plans are spoiled by rain. Here, spoiled means ruined. But the weather reporter does not control the weather. They just try to predict or make their best guess at what the weather is going to be like later in the day, tomorrow, or next week. Sometimes they are right and sometimes they are wrong. The study of weather and making weather predictions is called meteorology. And the person who does this is called a meteorologist. The words weather forecaster or weather reporter are sometimes used to describe people who appear on television to tell you about the weather. Maybe you've seen them on the evening news. Often the weather reporter is a meteorologist. Predicting weather is important so people will know what to wear that day and whether or not they will need an umbrella because of rain. Predicting weather also helps people to plan things like picnics or trips to the beach. If my parents are planning a family picnic, for example, they would want to make sure that it's not going to rain on us while we're outside. But picnickers and vacationers are not the only ones who care what the meteorologist has to say. Farmers need to know how much rain to expect. If the meteorologist says it is not going to rain for a while, farmers may need to figure out another way to get water to their plants. In fact, anyone whose job could be affected by the weather needs a meteorologist, whether the person is a baseball player, a construction worker, a garbage man, an airline pilot, or an astronaut. One way meteorologists predict what the weather will be like in the future is by studying weather patterns and temperatures from the past. When you watch a weather report, the weather reporter will tell you what the high or warmest temperature and the low or coldest temperature will be for that day. High temperatures usually come during the daytime. And low temperatures are usually at night. However, the weather reporter can also tell you if the temperatures on a particular day are normal for that time of year by checking the weather record. The weather record is kind of like a weather diary, it lists what the weather was like on that day in previous years. Aside from looking at weather reports, What else do meteorologists use to predict the weather? How do they know what is going to happen? In fact, predicting the weather is quite complicated, and even with all of the amazing computers and equipment we have nowadays, the weather reporter is still sometimes wrong. However, meteorologists' predictions are also correct a lot of the time. This is thanks in part to satellites or objects designed to go around Earth in space and collect information like the one in this picture. Satellites are objects launched into space that contain cameras, radios, and antennas, but no people. Once in space, the satellites travel around the Earth. The satellite cameras take pictures. And beam them down to meteorologists. Using the photos, meteorologists can see storms as they develop and predict whether the skies will be clear or cloudy. Of course, you don't always need a meteorologist to tell you what the weather is going to be like, especially if dark clouds like this roll over your town. These dark clouds are types of cumulus clouds. And often develop into thunderstorms. You can also find cumulus clouds during nice weather when they appear white and puffy like a cotton ball. 
These are cirrus clouds. They are thin and wispy clouds that float way up high in the sky. Usually, cirrus clouds mean the weather is going to be clear and pleasant. Stratus clouds are the third cloud type, and they float fairly low to the ground. These flat clouds can stretch across the entire sky. They sometimes drop light rain or drizzle. The most important part of a meteorologist's job is to help save lives by warning people or telling people in advance when severe weather is on the way. Look at this picture. It was taken when a hurricane was heading toward land. A hurricane is a huge storm that forms out over the ocean. The meteorologist in this picture is studying images of a hurricane just as it is about to strike land. The image was made by a computer that is able, thanks to satellites, airplanes, and other tools, to determine how fast the wind is moving, how much it is raining. And in which direction the storm is moving, thanks to computers and satellites, the meteorologists saw the hurricane days before it came anywhere near land. So they warned people to leave their homes and head to safer ground if necessary. A lot of people were kept safe from this severe weather because of the meteorologists. Meteorologists help people stay prepared for and safe during whatever challenges the weather may throw their way. Even though you can predict what the weather should be like during any given season where you live, it is difficult to always predict from day to day exactly what the weather will really be like. So it is a good idea to listen to your local meteorologist. So you will know to carry an umbrella that day, or bring along extra sunscreen. That way, you'll always be prepared. Thank you so much for helping me with my weather project. From now on, I hope you'll keep an eye to the sky and always pay attention to the weather in your neighborhood. Your friend, Annie.